would you say the day? All right, so this is the new remote. So we got unlock. Hello guys, how you doing? I've just had a phone call. Oh my God. Look like the silver fox. It's just the, it's just the sun. I can promise you, I've not gone grey since the, uh, since my last video. Um, yeah, I've just had a phone call from a guy who's um, having problems with uh, a UPVC door. Um, <clears throat> I was a little bit confused because he said it was the handle, but then he thinks it could be the mechanism. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to find when I get there. It could be the handle. Um, but it might not. That's all I can say, really. Um, <laughs> a bit vague, I know, but I can only tell you what. I, that, that, that's the one thing about, you know, you you can't expect customers to know, um, you know, what products they've got. Sometimes you even say to customers, um, you know, is it is it a wooden door? Is it PVC? And they they don't don't have a clue. So, so yeah. Anyway, let's go and find out what the problem is and see if we can get it sorted. Right, we've got, we've got a failed mechanism here. I don't know if you can see through there, but the spindle's completely shot to bits and the gearbox is gone. I'm gonna drill a little hole here. Sometimes, as you know, there's a secondary spindle. Hopefully we can get it open because it is proper, it's proper locked. Yeah, this is absolutely tight in there. Drilled the hole, there's nothing else to do. I see the two pieces, so I think we're going to struggle with this, getting this one open. Look. Happy days. Right, drilled the second hole, there's nothing there. Um, so, the, the actual um, the gearbox of the spin is very shot to bits. I'll quickly just show you this. Um, you can probably just see, like it's, it's obliterated in there. I'll have a little poke around, see if there's any way I can still manipulate it around, but it's not. Not open it. Um, yeah, solid. Alright guys, I've tried to manipulate all these little points on here um, to try and get it or even snap the cylinder out in case there's a problem with the cylinder but still can't get it open so it's going to be an out of air wedging so I've already popped the bottom. Uh, what I do with these, I'll get an air wedge under there to lift that up then pop the bottom so that the, basically so the bottom's clear of the door. And then I'll get an air wedge up the top there and try and pop it up there as well. Air wedge is saved for the day. Right, so we've got the gearbox there. So we're just gonna swap that one over. And get it
so I've screwed it in. Um, but with only four screws, and I just always test it just to make sure it's all going to work and everything. So now I'll get the rest of the screws in and get it fitted back. There we go, guys. It's all done, cleaned up. actually and wipes do the job there we go guys that was a fun one um, yeah he was saying that, um, well, he, he was wondering if it was just like if the doors were out of alignment and stuff like that but actually they were fine um, it's just wear and tear sometimes with those I mean it's, it was quite an old uh, quite an old set of doors they were externally beaded I don't think I don't think externally beaded window doors have been around for quite a while, so yeah, uh, I was quite lucky actually that it was in a conservatory. So um, in that situation, if I'm not able to to get it open and I have to airbag it, then um, I always do the bottoms first and then put the airbags so that kicks out past the uh, past the keeps on the bottom. Keep my foot on it. Put the airbags in the top and then pump the airbags at the top and that. Because you've kicked the bottoms out and you've got your foot on it and it's wedged it past the, the actual frame uh, it normally pops the top as well but it was quite easy on that one because it was conservatory there was quite a lot of flexibility there was nothing above so um, yeah it popped quite easy on the top and then uh, they opened so all good got it done and he was quite happy so see you next time guys thanks again for watching uh, please give us a, a subscribe and a thumbs up and any nice comments down there. Cheers guys, see you soon. Good morning people. How are we all doing? We are on our way to do a new remote on a Citroen Blingo 2016 I think it is. Um, this is for a company that I've done um, some work for before fit van locks and that for them um, like uh, fire alarm fire alarm company in brighton um, but yeah they just want a, a spare key made for one of their vans so i'm gonna go and go and do that um and then that is it for me today because um i'm taking my daughter back to, sorry my stepdaughter back to lee juni we were if you might have seen in a previous video the other day um a couple of days ago that uh we were taking her to the station because she was going to get a train up there on i think it was monday or tuesday i've lost track of days but i think it was monday or tuesday and um she seemed a bit down and a bit upset anyway so we took her to the station and um she got out the van and um went to the platform and my partner sarah went with her and when sarah come back she was, sarah was crying she's really upset and uh I said you're all right and she wasn't that upset when we first took her up to, to uni and uh and she just said no she just uh just it just seems very down and like she really doesn't want to go back um it's earlier than she needed to go back she's got a job up in leeds she works in a co-op up there um and she had she, she her, her shift isn't till you know her next shift isn't till the eighth what we're today the sixth so yeah, and she was going and it's Thursday today. I don't know when this is gonna go out, so. Um, yeah, so she, we were, she was gonna go back on Monday and then she would, uh, we don't even know if her housemates were back or anything like that. We've also got two dogs that are very old and she didn't say goodbye to them and because we don't, she, you know, we don't know how long they're gonna be with us and she just got really sad and really down about everything. So, um, yeah, Sarah got back in the car and we drove off and. Uh, I phoned Jess and, and said, look, have you got on the train yet? And she said, no. I said, come back out the front. I said, we'll, we'll drive you up on, on Thursday. And she was like, what, really? I said, yeah, come on. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. It just gives her a couple, it gave her a couple of more days at home. Uh, she, her boyfriend's down in Brighton as well. So yeah, it was just nice. Nice for her to stay, you know, a couple of more days. Rather than being up in Leeds, you know, potentially on her own and feeling sad, so. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna go and do this Citroen. I don't know if I go on, don't I? I don't know if I waffle. 
Uh, we're going to go and do the Citroen Blingo um, key, and then that will be me. We're going to driving up to Leeds, so we're driving up to Leeds to Heading Light today, and then um, driving back. We're staying up there tonight, driving back tomorrow. So see if we get any working over the weekend. Right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, and um, see you at the Blingo. try this in the van make sure it works the, the door and the ignition and then we can cut the actual remote cut the blade on that right that worked so we we'll just do the exact same procedure with the new remote which is in there so it's just going to cut the blade and then we've just got to program it to the vehicle There we go. I like doing a bit of auto stuff. You probably noticed that most of my uh, channel is uh, domestic. I, I am mainly a domestic locksmith, but it's nice to do the odd bit of auto now and again when I can. Um, yeah, and it's not. It's a nice feeling. I. Uh, if you've seen which video is it? My van tour. Um, after I do the van tour, I talk about how I, uh, you know, how I got into a bit of my background and how I got into locksmithing and stuff like that. And I, I did an online course for the auto stuff, which was good, um, really good in fact. And um, but there was just a few bits missing that I didn't kind of know about at the time. Uh, I don't for one minute regret doing it. I'd, I'd still do it now, but um, yeah, there's just a few things that few bits of information that I could have could have done with knowing and I had a run of about five jobs <coughs> excuse me that um well I wouldn't where the, the, the key wouldn't program and it was all to do with things like the age of the vehicle and it was an EPROM job that uh, uh you know just like programming it through the key so it knocked my confidence massively actually like I say about five jobs on the trot and I just thought I'm not doing this anymore <laughs> but I'm slowly getting back into it and I'm slowly kind of learning as I'm doing it so um, so yeah all good so like I say I'm not doing any more today now I'm on my way home uh, and then we're gonna take a drive up to Heading Lie in Leeds it's about five well depending on traffic but five to six hour drive up there um, and it all depends if if Jess wants to stop at McDonald's which she probably will so uh, yeah but thanks again everybody for subscribing thank you to all my new subscribers as well if you've made it this far in the video um, but yeah thank you again and um, please give the uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and any nice comments below would be great and I'll see you next week when I'm back to work cheers guys see you later